Alright, so you didn't like Phi the first time. Maybe give it another chance this time, alright? Sai and Phi, they need to be together, alright? They need to be together. Hey guys, one bet that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81, once again, taking a look at another sci-fi material. I gotta tell you, you guys loved the first one, you loved it, you loved the first sci- well, not, it's not really the first one, but it was kind of like a little, you know, technological, like, you know, shield, you know, generator type of cool force field sci-fi material, that was a lot of words I just said. But today I have a new one for you. So it's got two parts to it. I built it off camera. It's pretty simple actually. Not that many things. Um, pretty much what we got is uh, we got something like this. So I, I have to do them separately, but you'll see. So we got something like this. And then we have a second one that comes in as well. So this is really, really cool. I like this one a lot because it has two different layers to it. And uh, it has uh, the potential to have as many layers as you really want it to have. So and it's really customizable. So... I want to get started, and first things first, I want to go ahead and take a look at this top portion. So we're going to get rid of this bottom portion. We're going to hit B to box, select all this away, because I don't need any of this right now, and we'll just get rid of all that. All right, so the first thing I did was I grabbed a, um, well, first of all, I, I grabbed an emission shader, which is a shift A, search, emission, right? And I plugged that in first, so this is what it looked like when I did that. All right, so let me get rid of that too. So this is what I did. I added an emission shader, and I changed the value from 1 to 2. And that's what it looks like. I also have bloom on. So, yeah, go ahead and open up the scene tab. Change the, bl the bloom to about 0.2 for the threshold, 0.5 for the knee, uh, uh, 6 for the radius, and intensity on uh, 0.1 all the way up. So, that's what I did. Pretty much just that. I have a sphere here as well, which was just shift A, uh, UV sphere. Anyway, um, I added the emission. Then I went ahead and I searched for a color ramp. So, search, shift A, search, color ramp. And I grabbed that bad boy and I plopped it down right here into the emission and then I changed the, uh, the 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 interpolation from linear to constant so that it was sharp edged but you can't tell anything right now the only thing I did was I grabbed this uh, point that was way over here turned it to blue and then uh, and then I just dragged it over about right there uh, so yeah that's what I did and then I grabbed finally uh, I've, I finally got to the musgrave texture which was shift a musgrave and then I just put that bad boy right here and in, in the factor into the factor of the color ramp and this is what we had so pretty much nothing because i changed some of the values so the values i changed i put the scale on zero i changed the detail to 16 and i leave i left both of these on one so if i change the uh scale you can see what happens here if i go ahead and just take a look at that you can see that's what it does uh pretty cool stuff now what i want to do real quick is i want to go ahead and animate this just so you guys can see what it looks like over time so i'm going to take the zero frame so on zero change my start from zero uh, and then I'm going to hover my cursor over top of scale and hit I. And then on frame 50, I'll change this value to 50. And then hit I. And then go to frame 100. Hover our cursor and hit 0. And then hit I. Type it 0 and then hit I. So now we have this when it when it, when it plays. It looks like this, which is kind of crazy. Um, I think 50 is too high for this value. So let's go ahead and just do 10. And then we'll hit I for that. Sure. There we go. So you can see that's what it does, and I also want to go to the render tab here and change the frame rate from 24 to 60, and then I'll turn my end frame to 110. Yeah, so there we go. We have this really cool kind of animation coming in and out here, which is kind of fast, but not at the same time, you'll see. Um, and now, what, what I did after that was I hooked up a noise texture, and real quick, I can show you the noise texture. I put the factor into the scale here, uh, I do believe, and then I put the magic, well, did I do that? No, I put the that's, I put the factor into the vector, not the scale, and then I t I put the uh, color into the dimension, not the color, the yeah, the color, because we got to change this, the scale value. We can't we can't mess that up. So what I did was I added a noise texture. First of all, let's get rid, let's get rid of that first. The noise texture, as you can see, adds some noise to the pretty smooth uh, lines here, which is Shift A, search, noise. And then I just changed the scale to 5, the detail to 16, and the distortion on 0. You can put a little bit of distortion in there, actually. I think I'm, I'm going to do that. So maybe one distortion. Why not? And then for the magic texture, shift A, search, magic texture right there. Boom. Grabbed it. Put it down. Um, uh, and then I put the color into the dimension here. Into the detail here, sorry. And I changed the magic texture a little bit. I, I put the distortion on 1.8 and then the scale on 5. I think we can... Uh, probably go lower, well, not that low. We can probably go maybe a little bit lower, eh, maybe not too low. 1.8 is probably fine. We'll leave it on 1.8. The, the distortion on 1.8 and the scale on 50. We can turn the scale down or up if you want to, um, but I, I really like the way that it looked on 50. The other, 
the other value is going to make these look kind of small but uh but yeah so right now we uh we have that which isn't like too crazily cool at the moment i do believe this needs to be put up from 10 that's the problem this needs to be like i had it before on 50 there we go so if i put this to 50 in the middle i shouldn't have, i shouldn't have took that off 50 so if i put that on 50 you see now we have this really cool like thing here but i really want to turn that down some more so maybe 30 yeah 30 is fine maybe 20 Eh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do 20. 20. So we'll have our cursor. Hit I now on frame 50. We have 20 value on that. Looks good. I like that. All right, cool. So we have a really pretty sweet uh, beginning animation here with our uh, with our little sci-fi thing going on here. So I'm going to turn the uh, radius up a little bit. There we go. Maybe I'll turn the strength of this up to maybe like 10 or something. I, just, I want it to be really bright. Maybe 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30. Sure. Uh, just as bright as possible, really. So there we go. All right, cool. That's all I did for that. That's all. Uh, then what I did was I took a mix shader and hit Shift A, search mix, and grab that mix shader, and I just put it right here in between the emission and the material output, um, which was just really cool. And uh, it, that, all that does, is, all this does, is it kind of just mixes all of the this stuff that we have up here uh, with something else. So what I did was I just hit B to box select. I grabbed all of these nodes right here, all these the noise, magic, musgrave, color ramp, and emission. I hit Shift D to duplicate them. And then put them down here. And then when I put them down here, hit G to move, by the way. When I put them down here, I didn't change any values. Didn't change any values. Nothing whatsoever. Um, the only thing I did was I plugged the uh, emission shader into the, the mix shader here. The emission shader into the mix. Boom. And then I turned the color from blue to red. So I just hit this little button right here. Change it from blue to that red color, which is nice. Um, also, you can see this has no scale on it yet, so we'll go ahead and do this animation separately. So if I go to frame 50, maybe 60, we'll offset it by 10 frames, and turn the scale to 100, you can see now we have a double layer, which is just the coolest, right? So I want this one to move kind of slower than the other ones, so maybe we won't do... Eh, I do want to do 100, though, so we'll do 100, and maybe we won't, we won't have it come from nothing, like because right now there's nothing on the screen, so um, we'll do... 80 we'll do 80 maybe yeah 80 on the first frame hover our cursor hit i on frame 60 we will put it up to 100 hover our cursor hit i and in the last frame we will go back to 80 and then hit i there we go so now instead of it starting with just solid black and then ending on solid black you, you can do that if you want to you can put these values on zero if you put it on zero then there'll be nothing there but i really want to uh kind of have something there i don't want the red to move that fast so that's why so that's kind of still fast. That's still kind of fast. Still kind of fast. So let me go ahead and put this on 90 instead of 80 for both of these. The front and last keyframes, 90. So it only moves by 10. There we go. Oh, yeah. I like that. All right, cool. So we have this really neat, like, sci-fi thing. Like I said, these are kind of small. So you could actually uh, make these a little bigger. Uh, right now, if you go ahead and turn the uh, scale of the magic texture down to, like, not zero, but, like, maybe one, you can get some pretty cool things. Maybe five. Five looks pretty cool. It looks pretty nice. So there's a little bit of a different pattern in the blue, which is nice. Um, and you can also go ahead and turn the scale of the noise texture up a little bit. A little, you can turn it up and down if you really want to. Maybe point uh, two. Point two looks pretty. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Different type of nice, but it's nice still though. Ooh, yeah, point five. I like point five quite a bit. Um, and we can also t always turn that distortion up if you really want to get some distortion in there, which I don't think looks that great for this. So I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna put that back on zero. Um, yeah, and there's just, it, it, it's really, really versatile, which is just the great thing about this, because like I said, you can just change the colors around, you can really add more things, you can use different shaders, you can use different noise textures, uh, rather, not shaders, um, but yeah, that's just really cool, really, really like this one, I think it looks pretty cool, um, really, really nice, that, ooh, that's a nice screen grab right there, and then maybe we'll do blue, yellow, and, yellow, and red, yellow, ooh, ooh, yeah, yellow and red. Okay, cool. Sweet. So we'll do that. And that's how you make this nice sci-fi material here. I really, really do enjoy this one. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that right there for the thumbnail purposes. But uh, but yeah, so that's going to be really, really uh, it for today's tutorial. That's it. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Really simple one this time. I like doing the simple ones. I do. I really do. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.